some of the runners were really inquisitive because I had finished running marathons on all seven continents. And one of the comments that was always made was, you know, I always wanted to go overseas, but I never wanted to go by myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, we decided, you know what? Let's do an international summit every other year. So we, we will still do our U.S. summits every year because every other year we'll add on an extra event. And again, try to encourage members to go ahead and join us out there. So the first one that we had was in Bermuda. And those of you who went to Bermuda with us, you realize that the night before we got together with the black running club there called the Swans. And kind of partied the night before the race. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really good time. Some people remember the race, some people don't. <laughs> uh, this year we uh, took a group to the Mount Kilimanjaro Marathon in Tanzania. And uh, we had a blast. Uh, I was very fortunate. I was able to get a fifth place award for a fifth place amongst all the men in the, in the race. Now, of course, there were only five men. <laughs> It was still a fifth place finish. The other thing, by the way, is, uh, I mean, one, one of my other claims to fame, for those of you who know me, uh, I'm fortunate to have had five top 50 finishes in marathons. I've also run five marathons where there were 50 or fewer people. <laughs> but I still count all of them as top 50 finishes. <laughs> Now, one of the things we truly believe in doing, and that's giving back to the community. To me, it's not enough to go someplace, experience something, and keep it to yourself. So we strongly encourage our members to go back into the school systems and start working with the students, start telling them about our experiences traveling around the U.S., going to different foreign countries, to kind of put that spark in some of these kids so that, um, again, they will start thinking outside of the box. Uh, last night, uh, we had dinner with some of the Hall of Fame inductees. And uh, we were there for several hours, and surprisingly, we didn't talk about running. <laughs> uh, the conversations were all focused on education, early childhood education with their children, what's going on in junior high and high schools. We never got around to talking about running. So education is, is very important for all of us. Our third objective leading straight into the education aspect is to provide scholarships. We are the only, with emphasis in the only, national black running organization that actually puts money back into our community via the scholarships. Since we started, we've awarded over $19,000 in scholarships. When we first started, what we would do is we would award a scholarship for a student's freshman year. And after their freshman year, they were on their own. But we got with the board, and again, I basically challenged the board, and we said, you know what? Students are in college for four years. They're not in college for one year. And we wanted to be able to provide a scholarship to these students for more than one year. So we came up with the concept of run a mile, save a mile. And our intention was, again, for runners to purchase the medal, all get together on National Running Day, start running, and we were going to use this as a fundraiser. So we realized that if we wanted to have four students in college at a time, we needed to raise at least $6,000. But as a result of your work, we ended up raising $6,489. And we actually have a student who receives a scholarship from us, uh, Desmond Skipper. Would you mind seeing it? Now I'm going to tell you a little story about this family, Skipper family. I ran into Nathan Skipper. Stand up. I ran into Nathan Skipper at our 2009 event. In, at Cowtown, 
And he came up, he started talking, and he said he, he had this, this vision. He wanted to take his two sons to all 50 states before they graduated from high school. And needless to say, he also wanted to run a marathon in all 50 states. <laughs> Uh, but uh, he was able to do it. He wrote a book about his experiences on running marathons in all 50 states. Wow. Now, with our scholarship, <laughs> now with our scholarship program, our scholarship program was geared towards distance running.